Hey guys, welcome to another coronavirus vlog from Saudi Arabia. I thought I would open that video with uh, a shot of those potatoes and onions that are being kept uh, not far from my hotel apartment complex. Uh, a lot of you actually got like, I don't know, about three comments in the last video asking about the potatoes. They are still there. Um, so thank you for the comments. And let's get into the news today. Today is Saturday, March 28th. It is, it is 6 o'clock p.m. on the dot right now. And uh, let's talk about the new cases. So in the last day, uh, Saudi Arabia had 99 more confirmed cases, bringing the total um, number of confirmed cases in Saudi Arabia up to 1,203 total cases. And the total in the world right now is 599,000. So just under 600,000. Uh, two days ago it was at half a million, and uh, all of a sudden it's getting higher and higher. I don't. I forgot to write down what the increase was, but it's about 50 something thousand more than yesterday. Um, all right. So first up, news. Um, I received an email from the American Embassy in Saudi Arabia telling me that the American government was beginning to plan um, evacuation, repatriation flights from somewhere in the kingdom to be determined um, to somewhere in the United States to be determined. And uh, those flights, they say, um, there will be with a, lit, with a, what does it say? With a, a very little notice change in notice, with a very little notice and no flights or departure locations have been confirmed at this time so this is um, stuff that still has to be um, worked out I guess in the coming week in the next few days they will um, determine where these flights are leaving from and uh, how much tickets cost we do have to pay for them if we decide to take them I am an American and a Canadian here on my American passport um, but there is no interprovincial travel allowed right now in Saudi Arabia. You can't go from uh, Asir province to Jazan to Riyadh to Mecca and so forth. Um, so it's very unlikely that any of those flights would leave out of Abha anyway. So I'm pretty much stuck here um, for the time being anyway. But I, you know, I'm still working. My contract is I still got seven weeks left. So I don't really want to be leaving early anyway. And uh, also, the United Kingdom is doing a very similar thing. They are arranging flights, leaving, I think, tomorrow. Um, and going for about a week, I think, flights that are taking some English people, or I should say British, or United Kingdom people, um, from citizens from Saudi back to the UK, and also taking um, some of the roughly 30,000 Saudi citizens in the UK, um, back to Saudi Arabia where it is safer. Um, this kind of brings me to a, a good question that uh, I've been thinking about and talking with some of the other teachers about. Um, and the question is, do I really want to go back to the United States um, during this coronavirus crisis? Right now, the United States is the most, uh, has the most cases, not the most deaths, but the most confirmed cases of the coronavirus. And uh, it looks like it's going to get a lot worse. My parents, who are in the, the States right now, tell me that a lot of people, most people are not wearing masks. A lot of people are still out and about um, at the stores and just sort of behaving almost as if um, nothing was going on. So right now the United States has about 106,000 total confirmed cases. Um, and maybe the number, maybe we're leading because we have the most testing kits. Maybe China actually had half a million cases that they just didn't tell us about. I don't know. But it looks like in America it, the situation is pretty bad and it's uh, bound to get worse over the coming months. I believe that we are still in the first act of this virus. Uh, I don't think it's going to roll over and go away in two months or six months or even a year. I think this is a long haul that we're all stuck in. Um, and it's just a, a horrible situation to be in. 
in the United States and the rest of the world right now. So I've been thinking, you know, when I, if international flights are permitted out of Saudi in two months, you know, and if they are of a reasonable price and if the United States is accepting um, international um, flights and are not in total lockdown borders mode, I'm not sure if I want to go back to America. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I would do if I went back. Um, it's just kind of a, a tough situation. I've been thinking maybe I'll just uh, go to South Korea or Canada um, or Cyprus um, or some, pl some other place and uh, just kind of wait for some of this to blow over and just spend a few months, uh, you know, just whatever, in the forest, on the beach, just chilling out somewhere. Um, and, you know, this is the kind of question that I don't know the answer to now and I won't know the answer to until maybe two or three weeks before I leave after I've seen how th this situation develops. Because um, it might be that the rest of the world is just totally infected, there's no safe country to go to, or most countries aren't, won't be taking people. Um, so this is kind of a question that, um, I don't know, I'll just be asking myself every day. Do I want to go back? How am I going to go back? What am I going to do when I go back? Alright, enough, enough about me. Um, let's talk about some new, case, some new stuff. So. Of these 99 cases, and this is where some of the bad news for me comes in, we had 41 in Riyadh, 18 in Jeddah, 12 in Mecca, 12 in Katif, which is uh, a city near Dammam, um, I think just a little bit north of Dammam on the coast. This is the one where the whole province was put in lockdown um, a week ago or so. Six cases in Medina, one more case in Abha, which is next to uh, Kamis Mushait, Mushait, about 30 minutes drive away. And uh, here, Kamis Mushait um, got its first, second, and third confirmed COVID-19 case. So this is no longer a sanctuary, um, a safe place from coronavirus. We do have at least three confirmed cases right now. So we'll be, I'll be extra cautious. Um, when I leave, if I leave, and uh, how I behave myself outside of the, uh, the house. All right, a uh, little bit more news. Six districts in the city of Medina are put on extended curfew indefinitely all day. They're not sure when this curfew will be lifted. I can't see it lasting more than two or three weeks at the very max. Um, so right now, you cannot leave your house at any time in the day, I believe, except if you are doing uh, some kind of healthcare stuff, if you have to go to the hospital or the pharmacy, or if you are going to get groceries, going to get some food, um, you're allowed to leave. And uh, I don't know how large these districts in Medina are, so uh, I'm not going to say anything else about that. Uh, Riyadh is sanitizing major roads, I think 12 roads, big roads in the capital, and they're sanitizing ATMs um, at night during curfew in order to uh, prevent the coronavirus from spreading. It can spread uh, through the air. It can last for hours or days on some surfaces. Um, so it's a good thing that, you know, people are going around and, and trying to uh, keep the surfaces clean. And uh, last bit of news, Saudi Arabia had its fourth death, uh, an Egyptian veterinarian and animal doctor um, somewhere in the kingdom um, died of coronavirus of COVID-19. Um, I don't know exactly how old he was, but the picture that they showed made him look like he was about 30. Um, so I think I'm going to stop reporting on uh, the number of, you know, I'm not going to tell you every day with the fifth and sixth and so forth um, death in Saudi Arabia. I think uh, eventually, you know, if we get to 20, I don't I'm just not going to make an announcement for each one. So, um, I don't know. I think that's all I have um, for this episode. It's kind of a short one, I guess. Um, if you have any comments or questions that you want me to answer or address, please let me know in the comments below, and I will answer them, inshallah, in the next episode or in the comments on YouTube. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, 
looks like I'm getting uh, a little bit more views on these vlogs, so I appreciate all the all the uh, the view time that you're spending watching these videos. Uh, share with your friends, like, subscribe, and all the rest. So stay home, guys. Um, I just I, I'll just end with this. Uh, I was watching a little clip of the news in England, and uh, some guy, the news presenter, was comparing the coronavirus case uh, outbreak, whatever. Um, to World War, like this is the greatest struggle that um, humanity and the world has had to face in generations, perhaps since World War II. And all we're being asked to do is to just stay home. We have books, we have food, you have computer games and television. All you have to do is just not go in public and hang out in large groups for two months max and the virus will be gone. That's all we have to do. It's not a big sacrifice. If you're going outside, wear a mask, wear, a, oh, you know, this is better than nothing. You know, it, it's, it's not a big ask. So guys, please be safe out there. Stay home, do not break curfew. Uh, don't go anywhere, you don't have to go. There are plenty of things and ways that you can spend time doing in the next few months.